Buongiorno e benvenuti a Ask Tacman. I'd like to read a question I received recently from Signore Amasini at the University of Pisa. He asks, what are the most common applications for real-time PCR? Well, most notable on the list is looking at relative expression levels of gene targets. Users compare two or more samples, say cells from untreated and treated animals, in order to determine if and how much the expression of their gene of interest is changing. Using Life Technologies real-time systems, in combination with either custom or pre-designed assays, users can look at either messenger RNA or small RNA targets, including specific microRNAs. So what else can a real-time user do with her instrument? Ah, so many applications, so little time. A common one is using a standard curve to calculate absolute or relative copy number of a DNA target. This could be a pathogen in food or animal samples, a microbe in water, or any other detectable nucleic acid sequence. Speaking of food, some labs use qPCR to calculate percent GMO in food samples in order to ensure that they meet legal standards. Copy number studies on genomic DNA targets are quite important to any number of labs who typically need to either segregate animals with different copy numbers of a transgene or to detect and quantify duplication or deletion events associated with a particular phenotype. Now keep in mind, I only mention some of the more common possibilities. A fact is, pretty much any application that requires quantifying nucleic acid targets is possible in real time. But what about experiments that aren't quantitative? The real-time system has you covered there as well. Perhaps most notable is the allelic discrimination assay which detects specific single nucleotide polymorphisms in DNA samples and then segregates those based on their homozygous or heterozygous genotypes. For researchers wanting to merely detect rather than quantify pathogens, including those present in samples at extremely low levels, our presence-absence application and associated detection reagents offer a comprehensive solution. There's also an option on many life technologies instruments to run high resolution melting experiments, which can be used to check percent methylation of short DNA target regions, or to discover small sequence differences among multiple samples. Besides nucleic acid based work, real time is increasingly being used to look at proteins. Two applications worth mentioning are life technologies protein expression technology which lets users determine relative expression levels of specific protein targets, as well as our protein thermal shift assay, the perfect application for screening different buffer conditions and ligands for their effect on protein thermal stability. And don't forget, regardless of the application, Life Technologies offers a full suite of reagents, assays, and analysis software to help you get the job done. And that, of course, includes millions of pre-developed TACMAN assays for a number of applications, including gene expression, SNP genotyping, and many more. Do you have a real-time PCR question? Just ask TACMAN. Ask us on Twitter using the hashtag AskTACMAN. Hit us up on Facebook or go visit lifetechnologies.com forward slash AskTACMAN.